everyone, Arlene here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. In that big wreath frame, I have all of my supplies lined up here. Of course, there is no right or wrong to wreath making towards crafting, for that matter. It is, you do whatever you think looks nice to your eye. And a little bit longer on this side. Actually, I think I might pull one of these up and around the top of that. It's a nice generic kind of a wreath. And I think I'm going to make a fall wreath. So I think it turned out okay. I like it. Well, I'm fixing to make a video for you guys to show you how I put together my centerpieces. And then I pulled the pit berries and the picks and whatnot through and around and just start with the with the leaves. And this can get a little flouncy, for lack of a better word. So you need to control the leaves a little bit. Already. I have to push it in there. There we go. That looks like that's going to work great. And leave it alone. All right. And I'll probably still pick at it. But for now, I'm going to call it done. I'm going to be showing you how my husband Chris and I work together to build this banister before. A little bit and just to hide it, but it really blends in really well, so you really don't kind of. There you can see the blue lights. Actually, they're white, but they glow blue, which really looks pretty. And then, of course, white lights in this one. Into the foyer. There's the living room over there. And there's the dining room over there. And that's the family room that you guys have already seen. And the decor is from last year, and I just recreated it for this year. It's my grandmother's sewing basket there on the floor. A little quilt I got from Cracker Barrel, of all places. Switched it around a little bit. Everything else is the same as it was last night. I made that last year. favorite room in the house, I would say, even though I don't do a lot of cooking anymore. Until next time, y'all take good care. Mm -hmm.